This particular work uh, has a lot to do with inequality. Inequality is uh, the question of the day. It's, uh, Obama has said that it's uh, among the biggest problems facing the United States. A lot of it has to do with income inequality, and we, um, many, many people agree, and uh, even those who don't agree think that uh, there is a big uh, concern about the fact that, uh, that uh, the rich have a lot and the poor have, uh, uh, have little and this, that this ga gap is growing. Um, a lot of the work and a lot of the concerns are about income inequality, but the same uh, applies to uh, health status. Uh, in the United States, uh, the rich have less heart disease, less diabetes, less obesity. They live longer um, uh, than the poor. Um, and this, uh, this, this gap is in many places, especially in, in, developing, in developed countries like the United States, it's, uh, it, the gap is growing. But nobody really knows what's happening in developing countries. Uh, in developing countries uh, where, uh, in, where child mortality is, is enormously high, uh, the, the, the rich have standards of living that um, may approximate um, life in, in Europe or in, in Asia, uh, while the poor still live in, in conditions that are more like the Middle Ages. Um, but where this is going is really unknown. And so we wanted to know uh, whether this gap is growing or shrinking. It, there have been lots of efforts expended and lots of money spent in the past uh, decade or two to try to uh, reduce uh, ch child mortality. Um, and we wanted to know whether this benefits the poor or benefits the rich, because uh, that has implications for what we're going to do next. What we did is we looked at um, a collection of uh, 80 developing countries, uh, 85 to be precise, uh, and and we looked at what has happened to uh, the the uh, mortality of to the death of of children uh, under the age of five um, among the the, the poorest. Uh, and the middle and the richest uh, in each country uh, every single year. The richest here means the richest within the country, not necessarily that they are rich. In fact, the rich in places like uh, Congo or, or Nigeria can still be quite poor. And we looked at a metric called under five mortality. And under five mortality is the probability that a child born today is gonna live to the age of five. Uh, in, uh, in, in this country, uh, approximately 990 out of every thousand children born are going to make it to the age of five. Ten are going to die. Uh, in developing countries, it ranges from anywhere from about 10 uh, to about 400 uh, uh, kids are going to die before the age of five. A staggering number and a wide range. And we looked at it from uh, sometime from the mid 1990s until about 2012. And what we saw is that uh, for uh, for about 10 years, from the mid-1990s to the mid-early uh, 2000s, um, the, the poor uh, mortality of children among the poor was declining and among the middle class was declining and among the rich was declining, but the gap wasn't closing. The gap was still there and, and, and not narrowing. And then around sometime in the early 2000s, it seemed like things were taking a sharp plunge among the poor, meaning that they were, uh, they were benefiting uh, a lot from mortality reductions, more so than the rich. And the gap has been closing and has been closing quite rapidly so that uh, the, the gap today is about a third of what it was uh, in the mid-1990s, whether we measure it as uh, the, the difference or the ratio of the rich to the poor, uh, the gap uh, uh, has, been, has been closing and closing rapidly and has been closing really um, uh, most uh, dramatically since uh, about uh, the, the early 2000s. Uh, uh, that's when things seem to have, uh, have really started uh, changing. Why did we find uh, the gap was closing? We had several hypotheses and we wanted to test them because uh, just looking, just observing that the mortality is closing was not enough for us. We wanted to understand why. And a few of the obvious candidates include uh, uh, things like economic development. All countries are getting richer and so maybe there was enough to explain that, uh, that, the, that, the, that the, the increased wealth of nations uh, was enough to, uh, to explain that the poor were, um, were experiencing and, and benefiting from these economic developments in terms of their um, child mortality the most. Um, and, um, and we wanted to look at things like maybe uh, the investments in, uh, in health systems uh, that were coming from, uh, from outside the countries. And we, we started looking at, at uh, things like um, 
the gross uh, the the gross domestic product and and sort of uh, uh, other broad metrics of development. And what we found is that none of these actually um, explained the, uh, the the close the closing of the gap. What we did find that uh, was most closely associated with the closing of the gap was the governance quality. And what does that mean? That means that uh, that in countries where uh, where th there is uh, poor rule of law, poor effectiveness of, of, of the government to deliver uh, public services such as public health system, uh, uh, high levels of corruption. In those countries, the gap between the rich and poor was actually growing. And conversely, in countries where governance quality seemed to be relatively better, uh, where, where uh, the, the government seemed to have a, a decent ability to deliver services, to do what government is supposed to do, uh, in those countries, the gap was shrinking more rapidly. So that was one thing that we uh, observed that was, uh, was uh, sort of uh, in intriguing and, and gave us a good clue about what may be going on. The second thing that uh, that I think is important to uh, at least mention and, and is uh, is an important hypothesis here is that it is related to the stylized fact that uh, that the, the the gap between the rich and poor really started shrinking around uh, early 2000s 2003 or so, and what else happened then? Well, one thing that happened is that around the time there has been a major uptick in the investments for the control of infectious diseases like malaria, like diarrheal diseases, like pneumonia. Um, and, uh, and those uh, causes, those causes of, of, uh, of disease um, have, uh, have affected the poor preferentially, um, have extraordinarily effective um, methods for technologies for controlling them, uh, things like bed nets, things like childhood vaccinations. Um, and, um, and there's been uh, a, a growth in the efforts to, uh, uh, to, to disseminate the technologies for the control of infectious diseases. And so with this growth in the, in the efforts to control infectious diseases, uh, the the poorest benefited preferentially, and uh, and all of this, all of these uh, efforts and these technologies went to the poorest, um, and and we and that's why we think we observe this preferential decline in mortality among the poorest. The poorest really uh, uh, benefited the most. Uh, that does not mean that the work is done, uh, but uh, but I think it explains a lot of why we see this uh, this closure of the gap. Um, a few things are important to keep in mind. One is uh, the gap is still uh, there and it's still quite large. Uh, the gap between the rich and the poor and, and how often and what's the likelihood that a kid will die before the, reaching the age of five uh, is, uh, is, is still quite large. That's one. Second is that even if the gap is narrower, we still have levels of mortality and, and the number of kids that are dying in, in developing countries that is by our standards, unconscionable. Uh, we, we, you know, even even in uh, in um, the, the the among the poorest of the poor in in America, in the sort of uh, slums of of uh, our our least developed uh, urban centers in the United States, um, uh, kids are are uh, uh, are surviving just fine, um, or much 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 better than even in some of the the wealthiest of uh, of the, the uh, cities in, in Uganda. So, uh, so the, the levels of, of mortality are still very high, even if the gap is narrowing. And so, the, the, the agenda for reducing unnecessary child deaths is still uh, is, is far from finished. Um, and um, and the, the last thing is that the, the infectious disease agenda is well on its way, but there are still several big causes of infectious diseases that are still responsible for a large share of, of deaths among the poor in particular. Those uh, to date include most importantly diarrhea and pneumonia. Uh, what do we do about these here? We vaccinate kids, we provide them clean environments and clean water. Those are the, the areas that are still uh, farthest behind, in, in, uh, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, um, and that's causing the, the, the highest burden of, of death among the poorest. Um, and in order to both achieve greater equity and achieve uh, uh, standards of, uh, of living and, and levels of mortality that we think are what people deserve, what kids deserve, uh, uh, these are the areas that we need to focus on.